My Lord. Let me remind those who are listening that this is the last mile of the way on Gospel 1590, KPRT, gospel1590.com. Today is a Thursday. That means Art Thursday. And our very distinguished author today, Elijah L. Hill, talking about the triumph of the black church. And one of the things that you said in your book is that Charles Harrison Mason addressed religion racism, pacifism, globalism, and even the military industry, iron industry, uh, during his tenure, uh, I would suspect, uh, Dr. Hill, that he had uh, some serious challenges. How do you assert that he was able to come through to age 95? <laughs> Well, this was actually a miracle, uh, Dr. Boyd. You just hit the nail on the head. This is such a such an amazing story. What I'm going to do is go back to um, the in beginning interim of him starting Civil Liberties in America, which started in 1917, and yes, it was sir. in the FBI files. Mm. He sent the telegraph to the government. He met with the War Department. It's documented in the FBI files. Amazing. They had laid out a conscious objector agreement with Mason. The government did, and and then he put together a a, uh, a document that was a pacifist, conscious objector document. Now, this was the first document. Yes. He was the first one religious institution to get uh, approval through the government because he was the first one that wrote them when mm. it first started the, the draft. Yes, sir. Of 1917. Now, after that, then it was approved, and he began to share the document with, with other you know, ministers across the country, white and black. So they began to stand up and say that, you know, they didn't have a right, you know, to accept the draft based on the freedom of religion, the Constitution, the First Amendment. That's right. And so the whites in Mississippi, which was a deeper, oh, you know, old Miss, you know, where it was really rough, yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. He hit his problem in Mississippi, you know, mm. just like the Civil Rights Movement hit. Uh, a good exactly. You see what I'm saying? I do. Believe me. <laughs> when they got into Mississippi and the old uh, sharecropping preachers and, and, and women, uh, they had their letters and they gave it to the draft department uh, so we didn't have to do it. And they began to see Mason's name everywhere. And they were Absolutely. like, uh, who is this man named Mason? They were like, the, the old Mississippi said, well, well who, who y'all think you ain't coming out of cotton fields telling us that you got a right? You ain't got no right. Freedom of religion. Who is Mason. So they called up the FBI against Mason. My Lord. And then forced the FBI to uh, investigate him. He's the first FBI file in America. 